Starting that CT side, NIP on the terrorist side. They just beat um, Navi on Mirage as well, Nip. So, I mean, I'm going to have to favor Nip here. I think they're the stronger team. I think so as well. They're going to be fired up at least. Flipside have had a little bit of time to cool off now. So, we'll see what kind of level they can bring in. Cyber Focus, though, a man to be reckoned with on the pistol round. We saw that versus, I mean, earlier versus Fnatic. So, going to be very interesting to see what kind of level he can bring to us here. He's holding upper right now over on inner sight. So that's the long range pistol work and he's gonna be looking for those headshots and he loses his teammate close but he's gonna take out Forrest in the mix and a fair trade here for Flipside. They take they give up one but they get two. So they're ahead so far in this pistol round. Yeah, you can see Bondic sort of rotating in here and checking out, you know, if anything, if they needed more help. Blade is out here, which is I mean a pretty good position as well, I think, but gotta be careful. Wants to make it back and that's the problem. I actually try and time that and you can definitely get caught. Freiburg is going to get the kill, and Ala will take down Blade, so right back in favor of NIP now. Cyberfocus coming around the corner to drop Freiburg, and now it's a 2v2. And the bomb goes down as well in a great position for NIP. I'm not sure why Getright wants to fight, and I guess he doesn't. He just wanted to check, but got to be careful with that here. Markolov going to come in from a great angle. Now Alu's actually in the tough spot. Yeah, the bomb is planted for him, though, so there is that to keep in mind. But, of course, two guys, and they spot him out, and they nade him, too. They knew wow. exactly where Alu was playing from. That was some sick play there from the remaining two members for Flipside. Markolov, who had a really rough start to the night. Yeah, exactly. I Alu's like, just like, please. This, yeah, this facial please expression stop. is like, yeah. Why? Why me? Please. So Why you have to be mad? But, like, Markolov, dude, he got, he got as many kills in the pistol round as he did versus like Fnatic in the entire first half yeah. so he's already off to a good start here so my concern actually for this map is because on train on old train 1.6 is train you would be able to stand on this corner here and obviously there'd be like a whole lane that you could you could hide in so you can stand on this corner and all people who come through through ivy and even if you don't hit them you can run away on this map you have to run back behind here and it's 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 not that long but it's long enough that they might be able to catch you if you're not instantly running back so that's uh that's yeah a bit of a worry there but um Flip side, they do get the round, even being a man down in that uh, in that initial fight there. Bondic with some good MP7 action. Look at the reactions. He was beasting on uh, on earlier as well on Mirage, was it? Yeah. No, oh, on, on Inferno. Inferno. Sorry, yeah. He's uh, he's on fire tonight. That's for sure. Like he was like tripling his teammates' uh, frag scores basically right at the start of the half. So I mean. And he kind of kept it up as well for as long as that map lasted. He was leading the charge for Flipside. So good that he's off to a good start here. I mean, at three kills with an MP7, he's going to be pretty pleased with that. That's a bonus 1800 bucks in his pocket at the end of the round that he'll be walking away with. So that means that, uh, well, Cyber Focus, World Edit, they can have AWPs if they want them. Could even go to up to a SCAR 20. So it could be uh, could be fun times here in the first buy round when they get to it. Oh, Freiburg, he wants to he wants to rest with the rest of his people out here, and he's going to be able to as well. Look how beautiful this is. Like, the, almost the whole team, they're even lying arm in arm. Actually, this looks like a bit of a mutant uh, person. <laughs> I know, something going on there. They got but halfway through a fusion. Yeah, I mean, this is nuke. There's no radioactivity here, but it could have been, right? They That was that was, that was was awful. Well, ra I, dude. Maybe they tried to enter the dude. same teleporter at the same time, and... Isn't but there like a Geiger counter on the bomb trade, actually? There like, is. You're right. Yeah, that, I'm thinking it, may, it might not be too healthy over here. All right. Well, either way, he got to he got put put down with the rest of his people, and that's obviously <laughs> important. A lot uh, of smokes on NIP and Freiburg, but they don't go for any kind of they don't go for a sniper rifle on flip side. They don't go for the big gun right off the bat, so that's interesting. They decide to go for four M4s and a single Famas on Blade. And as far as NIP are concerned, right now they're just tap tapping away. They've got two guys over at Ivy, and this is like some old. This is like older than Sin, basically. Like yeah, NIP. This is as bread as butter as it gets on this on this map since the beginning of CS:GO as well. 212, two, very very yeah. stable standard stuff. Yeah, that's how much people play train. I mean, I guess yeah, Alu is playing alone out here in the in the entrance. The fact that the entrance is moved down here instead of being like here where it would normally be is also like a really interesting switch up for the map here. Flashbang on over. That's a nice idea from Blade. Can't be too easy to hit that flashbang because you can hit the, the the top of the garage there. So you could actually end up failing it entirely. NIP, they only have two smokes left and a couple of grenades. And let's see if they can uh, if they can make it on out here. Cypher Maybe focus close by. Oh, that Molotov. The timing not working out for him. And Freiburg will pick up two big kills. Bondic with a bit of a grenade and a follow up there. Freiburg's going to be gone. And a big kill for Bondic. Can he actually swing around? He really wants to die the plant, but he's not going to be able to. That would have been big though. Oh, if only he could have made there at a time. That would have made all of the difference. That would have just changed everything there. But instead, that's NIP picking up their first round in this half. And 
how if Bonnie could have just peeked a little bit farther. Not sure if he heard that bomb going down. He might have uh, realized just a little bit too late there. But that is going to be a real problem now for Flipside, essentially. They should have the money. They're, I mean, they could have gone for a force if they really wanted to, do, to yeah. throw a chance to the win, but they decided to go for pistols instead. So they, they are counting on getting the big guns in the next round if they can. It's going to have to be an impressive follow-up round, you're right, because already NIP going to be able to equalize the score here, and we'll see how much further they could push this. Grenade down once on Markolov, and I think World Edit also took a bit of a grenade then. Going to be very low on health. Bondic playing close to the pop dog ladder. And Markolov, oh, it's just one bullet away, and he dies going around the corner. Just his corpse getting his way back to Blade here. Oh uh, yeah, pain, pain is what's coming here. Freiburg, I believe that's Freiburg. No, that's four. Is still kind of hanging around up top. But it's going to be get right and exist, holding that push that came through on Pop Dog Blade. Is going to be looking for a bit of a timing here if he can try and push up behind them, and he could very well hit it. He needs to be a little bit faster on his feet, but of course they're so close. So he wants to take his time. Doesn't want to give his position away. And the rest of Nip converging on this A site now. All five members still alive for NIP, but three of them very low. So still. Very much in danger of falling to the P250s if the angle is correct. Blade will catch out, exist, but get right reacts in time, stops his push, and World Edit, last man alive here with 13 HP, goes charging into Alu, does not get the kill, and it will be 2-2. Two to two. NIP bringing it back here at the beginning of the half. Yeah, now let's see what Flipside can show us here. I mean, it's going to be some some better rifles, but not still super impressive. No armor on Cypher Focus. I was sort of hoping they'd have enough for, like, the auto-sniper level by yeah. here, but that's not going to be quite the case, so still got to be a, be a little bit careful. But um, it might be might be enough. I'm still a little bit disappointed that we're not seeing NIP using, like, any kind of, like, pre... Oh, well, okay, there we go. So now they're setting up for it. A lot of smokes, in fact. So one of them is probably going to be for the... Uh, for the mid connector here on Alu, I'm assuming. And all the way through, just bombing that train in. And falling pretty far back. The wall of smokes here at the A bomb site. And that's obviously wonderful to see. Bondic playing close to electric, though. Sort of at the edge of the smoke, doing a pretty good job here. And Freiburg will get a kill on him right after he took down Forest. And Blade can't really see much of anything. Can he prevent this plant from going down? I'm not sure he's even heard it. I think there was too many grenades going through. So now the bomb has been planted. Can NIP hold it? That's the real question here. As Flipside converge back onto this site, they managed to hold their own, and they're winning these fights outright. Get right and exist. The last two alive here, trying to keep them from getting on this bomb. Exist. Oh no, that's Get right who peeks forward. Exist. We'll take World at it with them, but still three members surviving at the end of the round. And Flipside more than enough time here. They do have no kit, but with so much time, it's not going to be a problem for them. And they even managed to get that AWP saved. So Flipside coming out ahead in the end. Yeah, really, really good stuff there from uh, from Flipside. Very impressive, and I mean. Uh, the first time we saw this put down in DreamHack France, oh, when yeah. when Titan looked clueless, it's pretty obvious that a lot of teams have figured out good ways to to dealing with this. And maybe the challenge now, from a terrorist point of view, is saying, okay, once we get this bomb down, because obviously the strategy <laughs> works for that. What do we do afterwards? Like, what's the follow-up plan? And I actually have like I have an answer already. Some I've got no, a good do. idea. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, what's fun is that uh, Vox have another way of doing it. Uh, they, they've taken it a step further as far as actually uh, getting on this uh, plant. Yeah. They get a smoke up into Sniper as well to make sure that uh, nobody can come from on high to deny the bomb plant. So th there's, th yeah, there's already adaptation coming through here, and I love to see it. New map means uh, new thoughts, new sta new tactics, new strategies. And right now in this key round, it's been a one-for-one -one trade early on here. Once again, Nip just invading this A site very quickly here. Cypher focus getting close, and I, that's a committal if I've ever seen one. He was either going to get that kill or just straight die there, grouping up. Two people shooting Markolov point blank range and a one click there from uh, Markolov, I think, at the end to take out Forrest. So the bomb once again going to get defused here. And a good round from Flipside, only losing two people. Man, I've just realized something else because the first time I actually get a chance to spectate train, it is not easy. No. Like, this is because of all these lanes, figuring out who's going to get the next kill is no fun at all, man. I, I I don't envy the future spectators of uh, of the major tournaments when this is the map's going to be in. You got to feel bad for him too, because Nuke was an absolute nightmare to spec on as well. So you know they're yeah. probably thinking, yeah, lucky break. You know they took the worst map out as far as spectating is concerned. Aww. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. Double AWP coming in here for Flipside though in the seventh round. Four to two lead now for Flipside as well on the CT side, and they have finally forced Nip to turn to the pistols. NIP even with a bomb plan that round. Electing to hold on to their stuff, and they're going to just save some money and go into the big buy in the next round. So, Alu with that AWP for sure. 
We'll see what they uh, what they can bring to us then, but it is just nothing but aggression once again. Straight out into back alley, and this is interesting here. Cyber focus up close. We'll take out Get Right and Freiburg to the no scope. Nicely done. But the rotation has come through. There's only Blade left on the B site, and this is where NIP want to wind up on in the end. Well, bomb making its drop down. That means Forrest is going to get that bomb plant home. They can't really stop it. They don't have the grenades for it either. So a big win for NIP already. I mean, they didn't have oh, well, they had a little bit of armor here, but still. The $800 bonus getting right back here. Definitely going to help them out a fair bit. Forrest and Exist are left. Can they hold on and do a little bit more? They cannot. Cypher Focus comes up. Triple kill in the round for him. And well worth the investment for NIP, really. Yeah, that was actually that worked out marvelously there for NIP. Yeah, getting a kill, getting the bomb down would have been good if they could have got one more kill in there, but um, they still can't. Well, actually, they can buy just fine, no problem. I just haven't updated yet. So, um, four rifles, one AWP, and a lot of grenades on NIP. I want to see them trying to tank the B bomb site because you know I made <laughs> I made a video for it, so mm -hmm. now I just need someone to do it. Um, but um, we haven't. I haven't seen anyone use that yet. Yeah, that's. Uh that's a question as well that I've been wondering about a little bit. How, how do you approach it? Because right now you could still go for like the standard just YOLO out, but it seems to be a little bit trickier than it was on the uh, earlier iteration of Train. So need to see if uh, teams are going to start ironing out the kinks with the smokes and the flashes to get out onto that site. I mean, for one thing, if they want to set up for the B push right here, they'd have to clear out World Edit and Markov both. So they'd have to like take a fight before they can even get in, into position to set up here. And Markov, he's on a mission. Forrest will take him down. That's a... Pretty aggressive peak there, but it works out just fine. And World Edit, he must have just spotted the shadow of Exist getting uh, falling through the smoke then. That's impressive. Yeah, that was sick reactions yeah. from him. So fast. And now we already have the rotation coming out from NIP as well. Pretty soon, all four of them will be up in brown halls. And Bondic is moving up close behind Electric on that A site. He's not going to be able to hear anything just yet, but they have rotated an extra man over here onto the B site. Blade is now going to be watching upper, whereas World Edit, he's going to have that lower channel, that lower entrance onto the site. And look. Now they start to set up some nades here, all the way with one that's going to go out onto the between the trains itself. We have that connector smoke going down, and now we get to see whether NIP can actually rush out and get this bomb planted. Yeah, I mean, I think the smoke that get right for actually threw was a little bit off. Then World Edit going to go down. Blade still playing fairly close here, and you can tell it's no problem for Bondic to come in. He can't really see much, but that smoke could have been in an even better position. It's going to be a Molotov down, and for Bondic to pick up get right, so it's a two v two. And the retake is on. Probably going to be a tough retake here for Flipside, but they are moving closer. And the flick is missed there. Cypher focus goes down. And Bondic now alone, just trying to get in here. Goes for the tap tap and will take down Forest. That was the last bullet this well. That's ridiculous now. Grenade on out. Tries to make the jump down. Then Molotov really not going to help much. In fact, worst case, it's going to spread to him as well. In fact, it will. Oh, no, Bondic. <laughs> he, I think he could have made it, but Alu stopped him anyway. And Alu's going to go up with the bomb. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um, five to three here and starting into the ninth round. By the way, if you guys if you guys want to talk about, like, look at the, the smokes that I was talking about, just go and check out our, our YouTube channel. If you go onto, like, our social media, you'll find all the links for it. But I think the smoke that Get Right, Get right throws here, I mean, his kind of, like, bounced into the, the sidewall. Oops, that was me screwing up there. But uh, he sort of bounced into the sidewall. You can make them land all the way up here on the plateau so that people actually can't come in from the connector and peek on out. So I think maybe a little bit of a misstep there, but... Regardless, pretty aggressive round from NIP already having get right all the way back here. Look at this. Yeah, this is going to be very interesting. Does Cyber actually realize it? It looks like it. And he's going to hit that point blank headshot onto get right. No problem at all. Freiburg taking the charge. However, out through a main. No, out through alley. Through the back, completely eviscerating the defense here. Flip side, they're crumbling. Forrest gets his headshot onto Markloff, and it's going to be Blade and World Edit. The last two alive here in a two on three. And Forrest is already on the hunt. He's looking to get the backstab in on Blade. World Edit there, but he's not fast enough to deny the plant. It's going to be a two-on-two two now with World Edit kind of pinned down on this bomb train. He spots out Forrest, though, and hits a crucial headshot. That makes all of the difference. Now exists. Long-range spray. Runs out of bullets. And they are going to be attempting to defuse. But it is not going to happen this time around. And Blade will be getting on this bomb with plenty of time. Wow. Um... I mean, there's going to be plenty of time. You're right. That was down to the wire, though. That was a 2 on 3 from Flipside. Blade surviving on 9 health. And um, no defuse can either. So they just bought a little bit more time there in IP. Again, showing that they can get the bomb down in A. Whether it's with, you know, one shot or the other, they can get the bomb down. They just can't hold it. They don't know how to stop Flipside from doing the retake. And that's a big problem, right? That's, uh, I mean, that's almost like you would see sometimes on... A bomb site mirage, you know, you get in, get the bomb down, no problem. You're like, oh wait, we have no positions to cover to do to cover it afterwards. Yeah. And then we just uh, fall down essentially. So 
big uh, big problem here. I yeah, know that is uh, I mean going to be a concern. What's a big problem as well for NIP is that they won a round and then they instantly lose the following round, so they're back to pistols here. So we'll see if they can uh, succeed in picking up a bomb plant. And the reason, I mean, it's perfect. This is like so old school as well. Basically, NIP, they're like, well, we need a bomb, guys. We need a plant. Well, go to the B site. Yeah. I, th because this used to be, basically, you would just always run out B and just YOLO onto the bomb train, get the plant as fast as possible, and count on your teammates to buy you enough time to get it done. That's what it's all about here for NIP. And they go charging onto the site very quickly here. World Dead and Markolov, however, doing a great job holding the line. But Alu, will he get the bomb plant? It's going to be so close. This pre-fire does not hit, and he is actually going to succeed. There you go. NIP, as far as they're concerned, they've won. Yeah, no chance for Alu to, to stay alive. But yeah, that's a big victory. Um, I mean, I'm wondering if you're standing back here, uh, you can probably throw a Molotov that actually bounces into this wall and bounces back and lands right on here and just stops the plant. I guess an, as a safe way to like stop people from planting there, I bet that's possible. In fact, that's going in the next video right now, guys. I've really made it. I'm 100% I'm sure you can do that. <laughs> it's not going to be airborne long after it explodes. That would be like a, a very safe way to stop it, but I guess... If you're back here and they're rushing up the sidewalk here and you're sort of, you know, standing with your Molotov in your hand and just like, you know, waiting about, that's dangerous. But I bet that's possible. Either way, 7 to 3 and we're going to the 11th round. AKs all around for NIP. I mean, 7 to 3, everyone keeps saying that this is, uh, that this is, uh, you know, a CT-sided map. And if that's true, then, uh, I mean, it might not be the end of the world here for NIP. No, they might be able to run it back. Decent nade. Oh, man, it gets caught on the stairs, though, so no damage taken there by Freiburg. And over by Forrest, rather, who keeps going up into Brown Halls. Freiburg playing over by Ivy instead. But NIP now having left the bomb by A main, they want to try and make their way back to it with both players who were playing Ivy. So that's going to be Get Right and Freiburg working their way back here. And curious to see what NIP have got in store for us this round. They're all pretty much up in White Halls, although it does look like Get Right and Freiburg are setting up for smokes outside. Yeah, they are certainly preparing for something here. But uh, yeah, everyone, in fact, going to join up back here. So NIP. Back to standard. We've already seen this once, so you guys know what's coming as well. Try and take a look at Forrest, see where he's going to... Oh, actually, Exist is here with a smoke as well. Going to see that one. So that's going to be all the way into the back here. A good line up there, but it does leave a little bit of room on the other side. Still, a nice block. Exist coming down with a good kill on Bondic, who is playing, playing so well. So it's a nice frag to get there. Blade picking up one. Got, going to get the double, unfortunately, and Exist... We'll take him out. So now it's a 3v3 with Exist very nearly dead. And look at this position here from Cypher Focus Bomb. It's going down. That smoke is fading. And Alu, he can't punch in the last numbers. Exist has already got the triple. But he's going to get shut down. Wow. Triple kill from Cypher Focus. And a nice, uh, really, really good job from Flipside. In spite of everything that is... Uh that's been put in here by NIP, it's not enough. Yeah, it's not enough. And they, they take so long to get it to get in there as well. Anti-Flash is coming through, a Molotov on a main that we saw that Nip had to kind of like hesitate. They like hesitated, are we gonna go through it or not? They end up committing, but they take the damage from that. It slows them down. I mean, it does seem like you don't have much of a margin. You don't really have too much time to mess around if you're gonna go for that A split, or for that A setup. You really do need to just throw the smokes and YOLO. And we didn't really see it work out that time for NIP. Forrest gets obliterated as he drops down pop, and that drops the bomb here as well for Bondic. Yeah, I mean, that's what happens, Semlon. When you put when you put put too much YOLO in the in the recipe here, you add just a little bit too much. Like a pinch of YOLO is fine, but Forrest he just like knocked over the uh, a pinch of restraint. Yeah, a pinch of restraint. <laughs> I mean, I don't know that at that point you just gotta start over, man. You can't just keep cooking that. That was like the, the whole glass of YOLO he just like put into it. He just dumped it in there, man. You know, that's what happens when you have a cat. It's probably the cat who like, you know, walked by on the counter and just... Oh, yeah, man. that's not good. That's not good. Get right, gonna be all alone here. 1v3 and no head armor. It doesn't really matter because he's gonna get shot with the AWP. So 9 to 3. And flip side are looking pretty good at the moment. I feel like they have, uh, they've got it going on. They've recovered. Yeah, they've recovered. They got that easy round though. So now we get to see how they deal with uh, a fully bought up NIP. Who are going to have all the nades exist. Drops the AWP for Alu. So Alu can have his sniper rifle once again. He should be able to afford a Tech 9. But he's just going to stick to the AWP. No, p no pistol upgrade there for him. But now we get to see what we have in store for us here. Get right. Goes straight to Alley. And two players lurking around a main right now for NIP. That's Alu who's going to have his back. Force and exist working their way into Pop Dog. Pop Dog fairly quickly here as well. Could have a bit of a change of pace here for NIP. They might try and uh, go for a bit more of a straightforward approach. 
Well, Aloe's gonna find a good opening kill. Bondic playing close to the smoke. He's gonna get caught and shot in the back there. He did get a kill. A nice flick from Cypher Focus and very nearly a great 90 degree turn to pick off the next kill. But Get Right was just a little bit quicker. And the Molotov is gonna force Markolo. Obviously, he's not gonna wait. He wants to run in here. Bomb is being planted and Get Right's gonna go down. NIP, they had the man lead and they might still win it here. Alu behind Electric and World Edit. Can he find that bomb and defuse it? It's gonna get really rough. That smoke might actually help him, but. We'll see for how long. Molotov in the back. World Edit trying to check all over the map, but he's making so much noise. They know exactly where he is, and he's going to drop. So finally, it ends up working out here for NIP. Fourth round, finally. I mean, that's it's been a while. A long time coming, coming in the 14th round as well. So going into the 14th round, now Nip, they actually have a chance to farm up. Although, as I say that, Blade goes for a force buy. Blade goes for the force buy. Wow. That leaves him on $500. Is he really going to be the only man who spends any money here? What is going on? They don't commit. So Flipside are saving money for the next round where they'll be able to afford the AWPs. But Blade is not going to have a whole lot to work with. Maybe some miscommunication there. But that's odd because he's the leader. So, hmm. Curious, curious plays. Bondic trying to take a fight. Will be down by a forest. And, uh, I mean, well, that it did take a kill. But that's about all they've got so far. Alu was dropped very low on health. And... Well, that it trying to guess the angle. I mean, he got almost the right angle. Get right just had a bit more power power, power on the other side. So now it's all up to Markov here. One v four. And the lurk begins. The lurk, the backstab. We'll see. He can hear the steps in A main at least. He knows that Alu's around there. He knows that one of these players is holding this angle. And Alu does he sense it? You know, he's watching his back. He's making sure that he can't get stabbed. And there you go. Alu with the AWP. Great map awareness on his part. Realizes the timing that Markov could hit. And also realized that, his, realized that he had his teammates there to watch his back. So he could watch towards uh, spawn. But that is going to be flip side basically being able to afford two AWPs here in the last round. Blade will be on a P250, but he, fulls by, he full buys with nades. Not a single kit picked up for flip side though. So this is going to have to be quick. If that bomb gets planted by a nip, they're, they're going to have to react very quickly here, Flipside. Yeah, and just a bit of a throwback there, Pop Dog. Still uh, in there. Where? Oh, yeah, they, they did put that in there. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's I love that. It's hidden, though. It's hidden. Bondic playing close to the bomb site, and it's the 15th round, last of the first half here. Hard to say who's coming out on top because this map is still so new, but NIP, I mean, with five rounds, if it's a CT sided map. Shouldn't be too bad, shouldn't be too bad here. Cyber Focus being set on fire just a tiny bit and has to move out for a moment. And then the smoke follow up. This is a really annoying position for him to hold. Get right with the flashbang and finally Cyber Focus. He's just had enough. He's like, Get right, I don't want to deal with this anymore. I'm going to kill you with the orb. And Blade playing close to Electric here, pistol in hand. Going to run his way through into Pop Dog and is now Wait. behind the nip lineup. Oh, this is big. He's gonna be able to step right in and how does it happen like that? Exist will hit the timing perfectly. All of there to trade versus Cyber Focus. Man advantage maintained here by NIP. But we had a big opportunity there for World for Flipside basically to just completely wreck everyone. World at it getting pinned down here. He's gonna get caught. Alu with the backstab, and now it's gonna be Markoloff. Last man alive here in a 1v3 from Moss in hand. Two nades, no kit. And he's gonna get peaked and he's gonna get spotted. Alu there to pick him up. And that will be the last kill of that round for Alu. Three total. But NIP, I mean. Anders. That's a crazy it's round. It's another 6 to 9. Six it's meant nine to be today, dude. That is it. That is our fate. What is going on? I mean, seriously. It's just all evening. I can see the chat already getting ready for it. They're uh, they're lining it up. They know, man. They know. Well, I'm I'm sorry that we don't get more, ch you know, more of a chance to to run around and look at this map like we did on on Mirage because there's obviously so much going on there that we could talk about, but I mean, they are they're on point right now, you know. They're not wasting any time. A ladder that goes nowhere. Yeah. I mean, look at this. What does this sign say? No aliens? That's obviously not a human being. Okay, there's a French saying right now that, uh, or there's a French saying that's coming to mind where uh, you could, all right, this was like some ghetto people basically that I heard say this. It was hilarious the first time I heard it, but it's basically, you know, like um, when you slap someone, there's a French expression where it's like la pancarte, and la pancarte is a sign. So it's like, do you see the sign coming? You know, do you see the sign coming? <laughs> oh, <laughs> right? right. So this guy, he's like, I can just see this French guy. He's like, oh, he's like going to just slap this guy yeah. upside the face. I just you feel see? like it's kind of a racist message here. I mean, <laughs> no aliens. Why shouldn't they be allowed? Um, 
This one also, you know, it doesn't say don't cross the tracks. It just says when you are getting killed by the game, at least be, <laughs> be alert. Aware. Be aware. Be alert when you do it. Like, do it, but just, you know, you have to, to live the experience as you're getting crushed by this train. Just make sure you know that much. All right, we're going to be moving into the second half here. It's a best of one game for ESL, ESEA Pro League, and it's NIP versus Flipside. NIP desperately need this map. Uh, they need all the wins they can get in this league currently. And look at this push up here. Freiburg, what a manly man. Just not afraid of anything. But World Edit will have hurt him. And Freiburg has no clue, I think. He's so focused on this back here. Taking a fight with pretty much the whole flip side team. And I was like, wait, no, I'm trying to reload. World Edit, leave me alone. And he's going to run out of bullets. World Edit will take him out. That has got to be feeling annoying for Freiburg. I don't think he was counting on that. No, that aggression, that straight aggression. Not Definitely not looking to get punished that way. And while Exist was in position somewhat, now they've rotated two guys over to Watch Alley to make sure that Flipside can't speed up behind that initial kill. But Flipside, they are setting up for an A take eventually here. They left World Edit behind, make sure nobody can push through from Alley on Dip's side. But look at this, Cyber Focus setting up for the smoke. Yeah, smoke that we haven't exactly seen before, just a different angle. Gonna be uh, pretty much landing in the same spot, but it's great to see that people are coming up with new things. Doesn't cover quite everything, but uh, that might not be necessary for what they're doing here anyway. Pushing out Markolov as the bomb, and you can see he's trying to reach the end zone. He just wants the touchdown, Semler. And he's going to plant right in it, so the smoke works perfectly for what it was designed for. Alu's going to go down. Forrest will go down. Exist and get right or left, and Exist taking a fight. Well, then it's still alive. Finally drops, and get right. I mean, they're going to have to really work together to get this uh, this uh, retake in. Get right gets a kill before he goes down. Exist is here, and he's going to get overwhelmed. Nice round from Cyper Focus for a triple kill. He's going to make it 10 to 6. Flip side now. Off to a strong start. Yeah, just fantastic work from them. And yeah, clearly, well thought out pistol round. And as you're pointing it out, with the smokes, they, they did what they needed to do. You even saw Markolov running forward and putting shots into the likely place that Forrest would be holding from. Because obviously, that's one of the weaknesses that you've pointed out as well with your videos, is just that when you, ha you need that train smoke, because otherwise, if you stand on the train, you can see over the smoke if it's on either side of the train. So yeah. the fact that he runs up there and he's pre-firing that one spot where Forrest would be standing, it just goes to show that flip side, it's a well thought out strategy on their part. They have put some time into it. Yeah, definitely. Uh, really well executed there for their, for their point of view. And then Freiburg obviously getting caught in the middle was, uh, was a big issue there. Didn't so help. I'm, I'm digging flip side on this map. I'm glad they're putting in the time to it. I mean, if you're the underdog team and a new map comes out, you should just try and like be the first to get good at it. Because that might be your ticket through, right? That might be what actually uh, helps you out a little bit. So, so I love it. I mean, flip side is uh, they're a fun team. It's cyber focus. 20 kills right now. That is, that's just really great. It's a theme with stand-ins tonight, man. It's like Cyber Focus, 20 kills, and then we had Starks also top fragging for Navi. It's the stand-ins, man. Maybe that's what needs to happen for NIP. <laughs> call up, uh, call up Twist real quick. I volunteer myself as a tribute. You're I'll, here, dude. I'm, I'm here. I'll do some casting while I'm playing. Hail V8. Alright. Get right, all the way in the back here. Surprised that he's playing up here with a scout. I like uh, it though, because if these smokes go down, if playing from sniper, you can't actually pick them up and deny that bomb plant. Ooh, Freiburg revenges himself on Blade. Gonna be able to take him out, but uh, they're gonna lose World Edit as well, trying to push in here, and Forrest gets a kill. Oh, one more bullet on uh, Markolov here would do it, but Forrest is gonna be on nine seconds. The bomb is here, Forrest, he wins the round if he just runs. Does he realize that they can't make it? He does. Good game sense on Forrest. And he's going to just make his escape. And the frustration on uh, on the two uh, Flipside members just shooting into thin air over here. That's a, a very upsetting way for Flipside to lose a round. And now NIP, I mean, they're obviously going to force up behind this. And there's almost no money on Flipside. They can't make this buy. Oh, my gosh. Wow. And now, Gal yeah, it's like Galil left a Markoloff, Bondic, 1250. He has enough to get full nades, though. So it's not the end of the world there. But they can't drop for their teammates, for example. So it's going to be a Tech 9 Deagle and a P250 here. That's the firepower that Flipside have at their disposal in this round. And they are going fairly quick. But again, 2 1 2 kind of set up as well from Flipside. They're going for what Nip chose to be their standard play. And get right with the aggro smoke just to, just to cause them to pause a little bit there. Forrest with the spray down on Blade over in uh, Ivy. And that's it's not the ideal start here for Flipside at all. Bondic playing so close and get right sneaking up right next to him with a P90 in hand and get right. He gets triggered, but he's got a lot more bullets. Still not going to be enough. I thought he could win that fight. But Bondi comes out on top. So that's a little bit questionable. Man. 
And I'm waiting, I'm waiting to see if we're going to get that pick coming around here for Markolov. But Alu was ready, prepared, already holding that angle. He's going to take that fight long range and get picked up. Hell of a shot there by Cyberfocus, who just continues to pour on the pressure. Two on three situation now, though, in the bomb. Still making its way from upper onto that B site, but there's a man here to stop it, and Exist will drop Cyber in his tracks. That leaves Bondic alone, 1v3, with 40 seconds left, but all three members now from NIP rotate over to this B site, and he's just going to get caught out on the edge of that smoke. Nowhere to go. NIP will get their eighth round now. And that, I mean, I can see, I can see. Needs some work, though. Can we, can we convince them, you think? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not, can we? Um, all right, well, I mean, great round from Forest Air, triple kill. Um, I like the idea. I mean, if they got the bomb down and Bondic could have been hiding in the smoke down here, and then IP just try and retake around the smoke, he comes out behind them with a P90 in hand. I mean, I think that's a that's a reasonable idea. Uh, but obviously, when the bomb goes down, Bondic's got really no choice left at all. Pistols all around here on flip side, and NIP very close to a victory. And it's get right with his favorite Bison. So many bullets. I mean, when you're one of the best players in the world at spraying. Why wouldn't you get the, the weapon with, you know, 64 bullets in? Oh my god, keep feeding this man money, please! Bondic, go! Just just die to get right, give him more money! No, Alu's gonna get that kill, but... Get right's gonna be pleased about the... I mean, the outcome of that run right there. He managed to pick up three kills with the Bison. That's a lot of money going into his pocket on top of the win bonus. Yeah. So he gets, um... Well, he's gonna be able to just invest in that M4. Full buy for him, 4,800 spent in the round. And that is going to be NIP bringing it to 9-10. The score, they're one round away from tying it up with Flipside. The pressure is on now for Flipside. They need to get something done this round. They cannot allow NIP to tie things up and get the momentum. And let's see, what are Flipside going to do? Again, setting up for a similar strat as to the one that they pulled last time here. And uh, Blade, where is he going to be smoking off to? It's quite clear that Flipside have sort of come up with their, with their own variations. One, I haven't seen anyone yet do an actual pop flash into into pop dog room here, and it's so easy to do. It didn't exist. So. Uh, did it, I don't think we saw him, but exist did get a flash kill early on pop dog when he pushed solo. Yeah, but it's not. I mean, it is a pop flash, but it's more like kind of like a clunky flash they just throw down. All right, right, right. I want to see them do it like smoothly, smoothly. <laughs> that uh, break out the oil. Yeah. And that kind of flashbang is definitely like you can see. Exist has no trouble dealing with that. And Bondi goes down. Markolov is going to fall with the bomb as well. And now Molotov goes out again. Exist. What a monster. I mean, one one tick of the Molotov away from getting a quad kill there, Exist. Yeah. Um, and that's going to be 10-10. Moving into the sixth round of the second half. What a round. And NIP looking good at the moment. They're looking fantastic. Now they've got all the confidence, it seems to me. I mean, 10-10 the situation. They've run it back. They've got good money. And they've got players making plays like... Exist with the triple kill that last round puts him up to 17. He's top fragging on the map. No, he's not. Cyberfocus is still ahead with 21. But on the CT side, at least, Exist leads the charge here. But they are tied up now with the rounds, and this is where it gets real hairy now for Flipside. They're going to have to eat a round of eco here, just investing some money in their pistols. And they are going for a similar strategy that Nip employed in their T side. When they need to get a bomb plant, just go to the B site. Try and rush down and see if you can't just get out there fast enough to catch the defense off guard. I mean, bomb plant right now will go a long way to helping them. It might actually be the, the money that they need uh, to, to, to make a buy happen, so... The bomb yeah. has been spotted up here, though. So that's a bit tricky. Alu takes out a lurk as well. They're trying to push down on lower, but Alu is having a field day. Alu with three kills so far. Get right, annihilated. Freiburg takes out Bonic, who was on the wraparound. And it's getting world edit. It's getting cleaned up last. But Alu, man, that, that long line with that AWP, he just turns it into a shooting gallery. Yeah, I mean, easy peasy, right? It's going to bring NIP the round lead for the first time in a long time here. 11 to 10. And uh, this is now starting to get very scary for Flipside, but you're right. They do go for the double AWP. See how how that's going to fare for them. I mean, sure, if they can win against uh, Alu and actually find an opening for the team, that's what they need. Well, World Edit gets a little blocked there, but he should be able to make good time over to Ivy. Ryberg is going to be the man holding that position, and now we'll see where Cyberfocus decides to take his. He's straight down Pop Dog pretty quickly, so now it's going to come down to landing the shots. Alu spots out Blade in the smoke, takes him out first, and it's going to come down to the last man here. Rather, well, Bonic does return, but Forrest takes out Bonic, and this is just turning into a bunch of a series of trade kills, bringing it to a two on two. 
Get right gonna take down Markolov. World edit now, all alone, and he gets a good shot on Forrest. He knows where Get Right is. He actually lands that shot, but doesn't get the kill. And he's also very low himself. Don't walk into the fire, World oh Edit. What are you doing? Oh my god, that is so scary. One tick, it would have fell. Not killed him, but it would have been very close. And Get Right now. Sneaking, trying to change his position as much as possible and keep World Edit guessing. And I mean, you're playing Get Right, the, the ultimate lurker. And he ends up getting the kill as well. 12 to 10, that is so scary. Yeah, that's, I mean, just the mastermind, right? The guy that if you ever lurk, if you ever want to become a lurker, play that role. Basically, the textbook model. So, get right showing how it's done. He's up to, well, 16. But, I mean, everybody seems to be doing very good work on it by, on an IP right now. 17, 18, 18, 16. And Freiburg bringing up the rear with 9. But that's fine for Freiburg. He doesn't really see too much action, it seems. So, as Plus, far as he's concerned. He's also playing the entry fragger on a, on on a map side, that, right? that you yeah. don't really know that well. So, it's also really hard, I guess, for him to, tr to do his job well. I mean, it, the, the maps, the other maps when Freiburg normally does a lot of work are maps where he's been playing them for so long. He's super routine, right? Yeah. Um, he's like an expert player on certain spots, so uh, so that's where he does really well. So it's probably going to be a while before we see Freiburg really go nuts here. Uh, he just needs them to go alley, alley, but they don't really seem to want to oblige him much. He's got the auto sniper over there as well, so he's really crossing his fingers, hoping that they're going to run into the blender. But right now, flip side, once again, they're kind of setting up towards the B site here, up in Brown Halls. And exist holding very close. Not sure if he had the steps, but he certainly heard the steps there, so he knows somebody is floating around here in Pop Dog. Yeah, and what is Bondate going to do? It's going to be a uh, smoke out, in fact. I'm wondering what angle this is going to end up at. I'm trying to guess it's going to smoke the back lane or something. It's going to be really far over. Oh, I see, I see, I yeah, see. So all the way back here. Maybe even a little bit too far, but look at who made their way through. That was Exist just charging in and dropping Bondic. It will go down, but Forrest also picks up a kill, and I mean, panic in the flip side lineup here is they essentially get infiltrated as they're trying to set up for a push, and I think there was going to be a fake anyway to try and suggest that they might have been going A here, but rushing through the fire is going to be World Edit. Alu will take him out, though, and uh, that's a pretty strong kill from Alu right there. World Edit goes down, 10 seconds left, Cypher Focus, shot in the leg, and the pistol follow-up bomb plant. It's going to go through, but Markolov goes down. Just uh, sent, uh, sent flying over the railing there, and it's going to be, well, 13 to 10. NIP winning the round, and you have an auto sniper now as well. Wow. Yeah, Freiburg, but they, it's like they refuse to give Freiburg the chance to get kills. They just don't go alley. Yeah. So he's, he's just so sad over there. Just like, come on, guys. Give some let me at him. Let me at him. <laughs> every time, every time, Flipside aren't having it. This time they go over to the B site, and Freiburg's the last man to get there, so he can't even really bring this, the auto sniper to bear. Oh, man. Well... Ninth round, second half starting up now. Three more rounds for NIP and they will secure their second victory of the evening. And uh, the first one is against Navi on Mirage. Second one will be here against Flipside if it works. And then they're going to be playing Flipside again right afterwards. Yep. So uh, I guess they're, they're going to get a chance to get some revenge Flipside. If it really goes NIP way, it's definitely not uh, settled and done here. But I do feel like this B bomb site. There's not a lot of strategy going into it from Flipside's point of view when they attack it. Not that NIP had any strats for uh, for B either. They're just sort of walking in. They had like one round where Alu set up a smoke that went between two trains, right? And I'm just like, Ooh. but you know, we get that a lot here. Alu one for one trade over on the B side. Markov does manage to take point and get that kill. So he gets that bomb plant fairly quickly here. This could actually be a big change of pace on NIP. They're a man down going into this retake. Freiburg finally going to be able to rotate over with this Scar 20, but Bondic takes out his teammate Exist. That was over a Pop Dog. So now they lose the backstab potential. It comes down to the straight up approach. Brute force method here coming in from NIP. Nice smoke coming in here from Freiburg. That's really going to help them out a lot. Push some pressure on Flipside as well. So one guy defuses, one guy covers. That That's going to have to be it. And look at Flipside. This is so smart from them. They actually just walked through it. No scoping. Freiburg with the double and sniper focus. Can he make his way through in time? Two seconds. He will do it. Freiburg, what a great clutch there. I mean, that was so close. But then sniper focus steals it away. If he had somehow tricked him out, if he had faked it a little bit or something, I mean, or if rather if sniper focus thought that was a fake and just waited a little bit longer, that could have been it. But he's just no scope two people and did essentially a 180 to do it as well. Dude, wow. Yeah, Freiburg is insane. Scar I mean, he's been putting in work, I suppose, man. Freiburg, he's capable of anything in this game. And there you go. Finally gets a bit of action. Shows what he's capable of. And he, guess what? He goes right back up to the Scar 20 again. So, 
he wants to commit to the auto sniper. Wonder how that makes get right feel because they add, they literally added a hallway into Brown Halls just to deal with him and his Scar 20. So, um, stealing, well, wasn't that like when thunder. we really first started seeing the Scar 20 in use? Was get right holding lower right here, right here, this position. This used yeah. to be called get right before the map got changed up again, but used to be able to hold up close and just barely spot the heels of people running around in the hallways up there. So Get Right would just camp that with the Scar 20 round after round and just clip people as they ran past. Yeah, it was it was a pretty popular strat for a long time, but uh, you're right. Got changed around a bit here. Good trade in favor of Flipside as uh, Blade goes down for Forest. They're going to be quite happy with that. I think Get Right holding in a very tricky position. They do see it coming, and they're going to get the kill on him as well, and they take down Exist now. Alu up here. They're behind the train. They can get this bomb down. They even have the smokes for it. Oh, that cross out is dangerous. Markolov really playing a dangerous game here. That could actually give up a lot of the round. But Freiburg goes down. Alu now close, trying to no scope. Gets Markolov with a headshot. And it's oh going to get Cypher Focus. What is going on? This is unreal now. Bondic is still in a great position to try and deal with this round here. It's going to be taking a shot there. And Alu is going to get it. 1v3 clutch. What a god. The second kill in particular. Like, that was ludicrous. Drops down, and as soon as his feet touch the ground, boom, pulls the trigger and gets the no-scope. What did we just see from Alu? Bought Alu? No. God, Alu. There we go. And he's leading the charge now as well. He's got 24 frags on the board. But what a play by, by, by Alu. That's incredible. And that's that, that's right when NIP were about to lose everything as well. That, they were going to be in such a tight spot as far as the money is concerned. Now, flip side, they're the ones who are going for the just all-or-nothing kind of buy because they need to keep Nip off of match point here. And it's going to be also Alu top fragging at 24 kills. And you're right, flip side, they have to come up with something big. But they just, they're kind of like, uh, they're just spinning their wheels at the moment. They're not really going anywhere. Even if they get onto the sites, even if they have a lead, they end up losing it anyway. There's Freiburg taking down Blade. Get right with a really good angle here. And there's some crossfire coming in as well. Already exist in position. Alu going to pick up a crossing player between the two lanes then. And the rest... I don't see how they can make their way out of this one. Bondic all alone tries to get a little bit of damage through, but surely not going to be able to win this round. It looks like match and map point here for NIP. They almost line up for him, but not going to be good enough. Oh. And no bomb plant either, so no bonus money for Flipside to work with. That is painful. That puts him right there. Yeah, 2,000 for the most part across the board here. Bondic did pick up a couple kills, so he's going to be able to get a little bit more money to work with, but it is still going to be very... Cut and dry here for Flipside in, the, in this uh, in this potentially last round of this map. 15 to 11. And NIP, they have everything they need going into this round. They're going to be able to stomp Flipside out of this and go into the next map here because it is going to be back-to-back -back versus Flipside as far as NIP are concerned tonight. Ooh, Freiburg got so tired of not seeing any action. He's going to come look for it over here. Gets the one, sprays the second one next in line. Headshot on Markolov and Freiburg. I mean... Now I he know just, why they've been avoiding this spot. Yeah, he just didn't want to be ignored anymore. Goes for the quad kill, and it's going to connect with Cypher Focus and win the round for NIP, and thereby the game. That's a strong way to finish Freiburg. Just having none of it. Wow. Okay, then.